Let's go to NA. Everybody's favorite power rankings, it seems to be. The top three, still similar, but you got to put Team Liquid number one after week three, just because they absolutely clobbered their matchups uh, this week. Yeah, it wasn't that hard a schedule, but I mean, FlyQuest and Golden Guardians both just, that looked like they were playing in a different league than uh, Liquid was playing in. They slaughtered them both in under 30 minutes and those games snowballed so quickly, they were pretty much over by 10 minutes. So Liquid looked super solid there. I can't really knock them for having an easy schedule. They knocked it out of the park with that one. Uh, they take the top spot from Echo Fox, who did drop a game to CLG, who, you know, I would say is a bad loss for Echo Fox, but I mean, CLG played super well and looked a heck of a lot better than last week, so it's not a huge loss for Echo Fox. They rebounded, were able to beat Optic, which they should have. If they lose that, maybe you start panicking, but I mean, 5-1, and one, Echo Fox still looking really good. Cloud9 had another 2-0 week. You could maybe even put them above Echo Fox because they had the 2-0 as opposed to Echo Fox's 1-1, one and one. but Cloud9 continues to look super solid. Uh, Licorice, man, that guy continues to impress in the top lane. Uh, Smoothie looks like the best support in North America. Uh, his Alistair should probably be permabanned going forward. He has looked fantastic on that champion. His shot calling has obviously been great. Jensen looks great. Pretty much everyone on that team is looking solid. Cloud9 looks like a top tier contender. Fourth and fifth is where this these power rankings get interesting and where people will probably be upset. Counter Logic Gaming is up five spots from last week. Uh, they were sitting in ninth, second last. Uh, they only had a win against Golden Guardians to their name, but this week again, complete 180. They looked fantastic. They uh, stayed even with Echo Fox for pretty much the entire game, won a key team fight, boom, closed the game out, 5-0 ace. Uh, they looked great there and followed that up with another solid performance against FlyQuest. Again, I know that's not a top team, um, I mean, they're ninth on the power rankings, as you can see, but just that win over Echo Fox, they looked unbeatable uh, coming into this week through the first four games, and CLG hands them their first loss. That's a heavily weighted win, and that's why they are skyrocketing up the standings. That's the main reason. Yes, the FlyQuest win. They'd, they'd be a little lower, of course, if they lost to FlyQuest, but the fact that they were able to do that I'm doing a complete 180. I did not think uh, CLG would be able to turn it around that quickly because they looked they looked like the second worst team in the NALCS uh, the first couple of weeks and completely turned it around. Their buddies at TSM are also starting to turn it around. Second straight week, they've climbed up the power rankings instead of going down. Uh, 2 a week for TSM and one of those wins was over 100 Thieves, which is the main qualm people will probably have with this power ranking. How is a 4-2 and two team in sixth place when there's two 3-3 three and three teams above them? Well, I just told you Counter Logic Gaming beat Echo Fox, who were undefeated up to that point, had a super solid win there. And TSM beat 100 Thieves um, in a, in a semi-convincing fashion. I mean, they were pretty much in control the entire game except for one spot where they got a little too greedy trying to close out the game too early ended up giving Cody Sun a triple kill but they were able to close it out from there they didn't throw that game uh they were in control the entire time and 100 thieves the reason they're low again they lose to TSM and they should have lost to Clutch Gaming uh Clutch had that game in the bag they just messed up their Wombo Combo Jarvan Galio Shen uh on a team fight they blew everything on Afromu and uh, 100 Thieves were able to get back into that game, but they barely won that game. They shouldn't have won that game. Really, they should be three and three, and that is why they're sitting in that sixth spot because they did not instill a lot of confidence uh, going forward in that week three, and that's why they're down two spots. That's why Counter Logic Gaming and TSM are way up the power rankings. Maybe it's a little bit of an overreaction, a quick 180 for CLG like that, but they look good, man. They looked a lot better than the last couple of weeks, and uh, I th we'll see if that's what they're like going forward. Otherwise, if they go back to their first couple of weeks, then maybe they skyrocket back down these rankings. Uh, number seven, Clutch. 
Again, they should have beaten 100 Thieves. You probably flip-flop them if they're able to do that. But they had an 0-2 week. It was a very tough week for them. 100 Thieves and Cloud9. Uh, Febivin looked great against Cloud9. Had some nice shockwaves, a couple four-man shockwaves, but they were not able to get back into that game. Cloud9 won that one pretty convincingly. Lyra continues to struggle. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Optic, another 0-2 week. Uh, they did not look... They weren't in these games as well as they were in earlier on in the week, so that's why they're down three spots. I mean, you can only take a keep a one-win team in the top six for so many weeks. Um, there's still some close games for this squad. you got to feel like they're a little bit better than one in five, and that's why I've got them ahead of FlyQuest, who are two and four. FlyQuest had that 0-2 week. Oh, I, I, I think if Shrimp continues to play in that jungle position, they're going to stay ninth for the majority of the split. Uh, I, I liked having Onda in there to see what he was capable of, but uh, I don't have a ton of confidence in FlyQuest. That's why they're hanging out. Uh, bottom two, ninth right now with a two and four record. Even though it's worse than Optic, I'm putting them below them. And number 10, oh, Golden Guardians. They've already got issues outside of the game. But yeah, they can't win a game on the Rift and outside of the Rift, they're firing their head coach for some inappropriate behavior and remarks that he made off camera. So the Golden Guardians is a whole mess. Uh, good thing their NBA team is incredible and probably going to win another title this year because uh, in the LCS, it's not looking so good. But that is, those are actually your week three power rankings in NA. A lot different than uh, last week. You've got the rise of the old gods in TSM and CLG coming up the standings uh, for a week. We'll see if those guys can keep it up going forward. But there's definitely a distinct top three now in NA with C9, Liquid, and Echo Fox. They seem to be the... It's kind of in tiers right now with that being your S tier or tier one, uh, those three squads. We'll see how that changes heading into week four. And we're already almost at the midway point uh, of the LCS season, which... Uh, came pretty quickly. Uh, after next week, you're looking at almost, there's only nine weeks. These guys are only playing 18 games. So uh, there's a lot of fluctuation in these power rankings from week to week, just because you're only playing two games a week. Uh, there's not a whole lot of games to go off of. It's still hard to judge what these teams actually are. So uh, we'll see that going forward. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.